Now we are going to see uh, the specimen of cerebellum and the brain stem. So first we will see the cerebellum. This is the posterior view of the cerebellum. You know that cerebellum is made up of two cerebral hemispheres and these two cerebral hemispheres are connected in the midline by this vermis. So in this midline this is known as vermis and uh, these two are the cerebral hemispheres. Now uh, we divide the cerebellum into two surfaces, uh, the superior surface and the inferior surface. This is the superior surface and this is the inferior surface. Similar to this the vermis is also divided into two parts. The superior vermis which is continuous with these two cerebral hemispheres and the inferior vermis, this one. This is the inferior vermis. Now you can see that superiorly the vermis is continuous with the two cerebral hemispheres and uh, inferiorly it is a bit separated. These two cerebral hemispheres are a bit separated from the vermis by this space in which I am running my probe this is known as vellicula. This space is the vellicula and this is vermis. Now cerebellum is divided into anatomically cerebellum is divided into three lobes anterior, posterior and the flocculonodular lobe. First of all before discussing the lobes we will see the fissures. This fissure here, this one in which my finger is running, this is the primary fissure. It is present on the superior surface, this is the primary fissure. This is the primary fissure, next to it is the horizontal fissure. This is the horizontal fissure and the last one is the uvulonodular fissure. This one is the uvulonodular fissure. This is actually the nodule. So this is the uvulonodular fissure. Now the lobes, the first of all we have the anterior lobe. The anterior lobe is present above the primary fissure. If I put my finger into the primary fissure on both sides, mm -hmm. right now I am holding the anterior lobe. This is the anterior lobe of the cerebellum and the posterior lobe is present between the primary fissure and the uvulonodular fissure. My f thumb is in uh, right now is in the primary fissure and my index finger is in the uvulonodular fissure. So right now I am holding the posterior lobe. This is the posterior lobe. And the last one is the flocculonodular lobe. You can see that there is a structure here not clearly visible on this side but it is a bit visible here. This one is the flocculus. The flocculus along with the nodule, they will, these two will together make the flocculonodular lobe. So this, is, this was the flocculonodular lobe. Now the brain stem. The brain stem from above downwards we have this midbrain, pons and medulla. First of all the midbrain, the midbrain you can see it here, this is the cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. Now the midbrain is divided uh, into two parts by the cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. The part which is present behind the cerebral aqueduct this is known as tectum. These two are the tectum. In the tectum you see that uh, there are two colliculi present, this superior and inferior colliculi. This is the superior colliculi, uh, these are the superior colliculi and these are the inferior colliculi. So these together uh, are known as corpora quadrigemina. Part anterior to this cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius, this was uh, the uh, cerebral peduncle. 
the cerebral peduncle is further subdivided into two parts by this sheet of grey matter, this is substantia nigra. The part anterior to the substantia nigra, this one, this is known as cerebral crust cerebri, this is known as crust cerebri, this part. And the part which is present behind this uh, substantia nigra, this is known as tegmentum. And this here, this fossa is the interpeduncular fossa. Now the pons, the pons uh, in the center have this groove, this is the basilar groove. On either side of the pons you have two fibers which are uh, project, uh, pro projecting into the cerebellum. These two fibers, uh, the fibers on the two sides, these collectively are forming this middle cerebral peduncle. This peduncle is the middle cerebral peduncle on both sides, you can see. This is the middle cerebral peduncle. Now this is the pontomedullary junction. Below it will be the medulla oblongata. In the medulla oblongata, you will find these two olives and these will be the pyramids. Now I will show you the inferior cerebral peduncle and the superior cerebral peduncle. This peduncle here, this one, it is going, you can see it is going into cerebellum. This is the inferior cerebral peduncle, cerebellar peduncle, sorry. This is the inferior cerebellar peduncle. See on the opposite side. This is the inferior cerebral, cerebellar peduncle. This is the middle cerebral peduncle. Uh, you can see a nerve here. This is the vestibulocochlear nerve. This one is the vestibulocochlear nerve. And uh, the superior cerebral peduncle is only left. This peduncle here, this is the superior cerebral peduncle. It is going into cerebellum. So this is all about the uh, midbrain and the cerebellum. S uh, sorry, the uh, brainstem and the cerebellum. Thank you.